Alright, once you get your name on your project here, you need to change the size of it or put, position it all over the place. Once you look here, once you highlight it white, you can move it up there. It turns, turns white, you move it down there. Okay. Next thing you want to do, you want to put it back in the center, you change the size of it. I want mine to be larger and cover this area right here, the whole thing. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to double click on the name here, go back to here, and I'm going to highlight my name here, Buffington. I'm going to change the size of it to right here to point three. So we type in point three there. Type in point three, and that will change my name to gigantic letters. All right? And see. See the point three where, up there? And up there? Then we we'll change it to point three and see what happens now. Now, see, y'all need to experiment with this right here uh, and figure out how you want the font to be. I'm just going to do this one and hit done. Okay. Okay, there's my name there. But see, it's going off to the side right here. So, what I want to do, I want to rotate my name so all this will be up in this area right here. So, I'm going to highlight. There, go to rotate here, word code rotate, and I'm going to put in 90 degrees of here under the, I'm going to put in 90 degrees over here under the word, see the word rotate, where, right there, somewhere up there, let's see rotate, there it is, rotate right there, and I'm going to open it, uh, dialog box come up, I'm going to type in 90 degrees right there. And it rotate that entire name 90 degrees. Done. And well, it's both rotated. Let me see. Let me see. Uh, rotate, rotate. Uh, 90. Well, I'm sorry. Select, select the, select the, whatever you want to rotate, and then type in 90 degrees. And then go up. I just saw it. There it is right there. There, there it is right there. And then hit done. So that's. So there you have it there. I need, I need, I'm doing this by myself, so there it is. I rotate 90 degrees. You type in 90 degrees over there in the angle block, and it'll rotate. You click done. And that put, moves your a name right there, 90 degrees. Remember, it was horizontal, so 90 degrees off vertical is is, is a right there. There's 180, uh, 270 really. Okay, so you can move that name by clicking on it and slide it up to the right. Done here, okay. And, and it turns white. You move it right there. There's my name there. And then when you finish, when you finish with all that, you just hit finish sketch. And then hit finish sketch. And then you every time you finish sketch, you go to the extrude command. And you, 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 you click on the letters you want to extrude there, and there it is, right there. And I move it around so I can see what it looks like. Wow, that's too far out, right there. So what you do there is that you just pull it back here with the arrow. Oh, well. Let me undo that and see what, what happened here. Go forward. Well, let me let me let me hit finish sketch again. I'm mean, extrude, and uh, okay, there it is right there. Move this out of the way, and click this little arrow right here, and then pull it backwards here to the height that you want. Maybe point that's half an inch there. That's about three four point three seven five inch right there. Something that looks looks nice. All right. And you turn around. See, there, there's my name protruded off of my uh, whistle there. So, what well, you can also come right here. So, you can see that. Yeah.
right? Whoops. You can change the, the height of the lettering by moving the arrow or typing in the height. So you can right here you can type in point one two five backspace point zero point one two five hit OK and there you have it an offset there of one two five. There, there's my name on my whistle and there is the complete whistle there. So hope you got the had the patience to follow through this little episode here. I'll put it on the cloud. I'll put it on, I'll put it on Schoology. Yeah. I'm going to upload this video to Schoology. You can watch it on your independent computers or whatever. So have, have fun. And this is a gradable activity. And also, once you complete this one, you're going to have to complete two more items, which will be easier to do because you've done this one. And they're more simpler. But the idea is to learn how to take an, an idea, a project, and make a 3D model and then we can send this to the 3D printer and it will come out looking like hopefully looking like this right here alright we'll try to make it maybe smaller because we it's a lot of material to make this right here have fun thanks for listening see you next time